Jessica Frost Ballas here with a video for Hero Arts. Today I'm sharing a clean and simple thank you card using some of our gorgeous Hero Hues cardstocks with the Autumn Bouquet Fancy Dies. So let's get started. First I've chosen my fall palette of Chestnut, Nautical, Papaya, Plum, and Mustard Hero Hues cardstocks along with sand cardstock from my base and wheat stocks from Autumn Bouquet. I cut an A2 panel of sand cardstock for my base and then used my trimmer to cut one quarter and one half inch strips of cardstock. I add adhesive to my base panel in approximately the area I'll be covering with cardstock strips. I like using this tape runner because I can always remove adhesive if I end up not needing all of it. Then I use a little temporary tape to adhere my panel to my grid mat, making it a little easier to line up the cardstock strips. Next I add my strips, pressing them firmly into the adhesive. I've arranged the cardstock in the order I want, and I'm reserving the bottom two strips. When I get to my second nautical strip, I place it in my misty and stamp a sentiment from Happy Autumn Forest onto the strip with watermark and embossing ink, and then heat emboss it with gold embossing powder. I adhere that strip to the card base, and then add my final strip to finish the pattern. Then I use my trimmer to trim the overhang off the sides, and will reserve them for future cards. I wanted to add a little sparkle to my wheat stalks, so I decided to do swipe embossing. I simply held the stalk in place on a piece of scrap paper and swiped my embossing pad over the edge of the stalk. I brushed the pads lightly because I don't want full coverage. Then I sprinkle gold glitter embossing powder over the ink and heat emboss it. If you get too much powder on the cardstock, you can use a cheap clean paintbrush to brush off some of the powder before heating it. It just adds a nice little touch of sparkle to your dies. Next, I use liquid precision glue to adhere my wheat to the card base. I also die cut the bow from Autumn Bouquet with sand cardstock, pressed my embossing and watermark ink pad onto the die cut, and then heat embossed it with the same gold glitter embossing powder for a little more sparkle. I adhered that over the bouquet and held it in place to give the glue a little time to set. Off camera, I ended up adding one more stalk of wheat and that was it. Well, I also removed my cat from the desk 15 times while I made that card, because apparently he wanted to be on camera too. The Autumn Bouquet has several different flowers and leaves, so you could do a variety of cards in this style using different flowers or leaves or different color palettes for different seasons. It's also a great way to use up your paper scraps. You can find more information on the products I used over on the Hero Arts blog or down in the YouTube description below. Thanks so much for watching and have an amazing day. Bye!